Hello again. This video is going to um, explain how to deal with these right angle bent uh, latches that you see now a little bit more frequently on the market than you used to. Uh, if you notice all my other videos have basically shown the more common type which is just the latch rod is straight and then it ends. But sometimes now they have this right angle thing on the end and this larger opening uh, for the retainer. And the point is supposed to be that when it's down, this, this thing locks behind here. And then my, my product normally works with it up like this, but you can see if you just try to go straight back, this thing hits. Uh, so in the past, I've kind of recommended folks stay away from these kind of latches, but uh, they've become a little more popular. So I thought I'd make a video to show how you can pretty easily deal with it. Um, you have to turn them up like that to open the door, but my product won't turn, it'll only pull back. So that's the issue. So on this door over here, I'm gonna show you how you can fix that. Um, this door used to look just like that door. It had both this type of latch, which has got the angled thing on the end, but you can see where I made this upper one to where uh, it works with my, I got my product mounted here. Uh, you can see that if you push the remote, it comes back, door opens, and then you can push it right back in there. And you can see this, this little mechanism, this little device I put on the end has got a hole in the end that gives you a more tight, um, containment for the rod as opposed to this whole big, this whole big thing here. But the main thing you the main thing we need to do is just cut off the cut off the right angle part which is what i did here first you can see it's shorter it's cut off and then you can either go just like that or you can add this thing here which i'll tell you about it in the in a second so so the way i so the way i did that is um like i say first you cut this off down here, and then we can add this thing if you, if you choose to or not. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. First, you get a pair of bolt cutters. These things are pretty cheap. I got this for $13. You can get them for like 10 or $15 on Amazon or at Lowe's. And basically, we're just gonna cut this uh, as close to the bend as we can. We wanna cut off the bend and leave as much of the straight part as we can. So we're gonna open the door so we can see it. And then we're going to put this on here and we're going to cut as close to the end as we can keeping as much of the straight part as we can you just squeeze it like that and it comes off now there's no more right angle you can sand it a little bit just to get the rough spots off or file. So now you can see that it goes behind the it goes behind there and you can attach it just like you know just like this one to the easy at and have it pull back just like that does and open. But if you want to have a little bit better uh, containment here we can add this this device which I'm gonna show you how to put it on and I'm gonna Describe how you get it in a second. Basically, it's just gonna put it down in that corner so that the threads are right down in that corner. Put, it, put the washer on the other side, down in the corner. Put the screw on this side, or the nut, I mean. And um, I, I'm going to sell this device to anybody who needs it real cheap. Up here, you notice there's a washer. It'll come with a washer, but I didn't bother with the washer for this video. Keep it down in the corner. Use the number 14 metric wrench. Tighten it up. And now you've got a hole 
for this to go into just like the other one does. And you can see that it goes in the hole. If you look right here, it goes in the hole. And now if you attach it to this, to an, to an easy app behind it like this one is, they both come back together. And uh, the point is that um, they both be in a nice contained hole rather than this big loose opening. Don't have to do any lifting. Um, this little part that I installed, I'm gonna offer it on my website for $10 for a pair or $7 if you only need one, you only have one latch. So um, cover my costs and shipping. So I won't be uh, very hard at all. And now if you see this type of, uh, this type of crate with the um, right angle bends on the end, it's no problem. Thanks for watching.